Yo, what's going down, everybody? It is straight out of Boston here, aka the King of Boston, and we're back with episode 4 of the Oakland A's franchise. Today, we're at the midseason for 2013, and we're getting it started with the first year player draft. So, same uh, situation, same strategy as always, going for those A potentials. And we're just going to quickly pretty much look at all the guys we've scouted. Nothing good so far. Straight D's. Here's a B. B potential second baseman. Excuse me if I sniffle a little bit in this. I'm still a little bit sick, so. Nose is running. Wow, we got some crap players. Do have that one B, though. We'll have to keep him in mind. He was a second baseman. Jose Fernandez. It's also the name of a starting pitcher for the Mariners. Big prospect. There's another B potential second baseman. Hopefully we can get both those guys, because I don't think we're going to find any A's here. I don't know that guy. Oh, wait. Okay. So we're going to get, we're going to try and go for these two second basemen. One of them was, I believe, Gaspar. Yeah. And the other was Arnold Stewart. Okay. So hopefully the other one doesn't go in at that point. Um, after that, we'll just kind of take whoever we think is good or whatever. Hopefully some young guys maybe turn out to be some steals. Hopefully this guy's still left, and I don't know if he will be. No, I don't think he is. Okay. Just double check. I don't want to. Yeah, okay. So we're just going to go look at best players available. Um, this 18-year-old center fielder. We'll take him. He's a question mark. We don't know his potential, obviously. So maybe he'll end up being a good steal. Uh, and we'll take this 18-year-old left fielder, or maybe the 20-year-old shortstop. I think we'll do the 20-year-old shortstop. Could use another shortstop, but just in case something happens to Profar, we don't really have a good backup. Addison Russell's a B, but, you know, you never know what'll happen. Um, and we'll take this 18-year-old third baseman. Alright. So let's go and sign these guys. So this is the B potential guy that we want. We'll take him for two years. Gaspers. Oh, maybe that guy wasn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? C, D, F. All right. I'm just going to sign Lopez to a one-year deal. And the rest of the guys are going to let go. Big trade. Whoa. Guerra and Madsen for Sean Camp and Dylan Bundy. Dylan Bundy's a stud. Hope he makes his Major League debut this year in real life. Um, all right. So I'm going to simulate to the All-Star break. I'll be back. Okay. So we are back. Let's take a look and see... No one in the home run derby. Simulate that. Look at the all-star game. And see who we got in this. Should have at least one representative. There he is, R.A. Dickey. 8-5, 2 R.A. He was, he was like 7-2, and two, though. He's falling off a bit, though. Um, I don't believe we're going to... Mike Moustakas. I'm so glad I got this guy. Yep. It's not, he's 10 to 39 He's got 14 home runs. And he's progressed nicely. That's good. All right, so... That's that. Another big trade. Ooh, Zach Lee getting traded. Interesting. All right. Um, so before we go any further, let's take a quick look at the team. Uh, right now we are 34 and 53, and our biggest weakness has been our rotation. Um, a lot of our guys are struggling. Miller especially. I don't want his potential to drop down. Parker, uh, he's been hurt for a little bit. And Brett Anderson's currently hurt. That's why A.J. Griffin's in the starting lineup. Uh, which is forcing Dan Straley, who also had to pitch a little bit, uh, to go into a long relief role. And bullpen's been okay. Ryan Cook struggled. Ryan Franklin struggled. Cook's gonna, he's gonna really drop soon. Um, okay, uh, our lineup. Let's just take a look at our guys. Chris, all right. Weeks has been fine. Mustakas hitting the home runs though. It's fine. Same with Cespedes. Reddick's really struggled. Darno has done fine. Dalt's done fine. Davis has done okay. Profar's... Uh, yeah. um, okay. And Andino's done a good job off of the bench. And Dalton Simmons has been solid. Norris has been solid. Alright, so... Uh, this is kind of an in-between year for the team. So we're going to update our trading block. And I'm definitely going to try and deal R.A. Dickey. See if we can get anything out of him. As well as possibly Josh Reddick just because he's having such a bad year. Possibly Tommy Malone. We'll just throw him on there. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's anyone else. Yeah. Okay. Maybe Chris Davis. I doubt it, though. Okay. So I'm going to simulate to about a week before the trade deadline, and I'll be back. Okay, so we are back, and it has been a disappointing season. 38-62. and 62. I was really expecting us to be around the 500 mark, but we've clearly taken a step back from last year. We've put a lot on some of our younger guys who just have not performed. 
Dicky is really falling off. We got one trade offer for him, but it was a really stupid and bad offer. Michael Choice has really progressed. We better get him up. Wow, I did not realize how much how or how well Choice was doing. So I think we might try to get him up. Oh, and Gary Brown. Wow. We need to get both these guys up, which means we definitely want to think about trading Josh Reddick. Because he's really struggled. He's only a B overall, B potential. Davis is hot right now, so maybe we could try and get him for more than we probably should. Profar has progressed. That's good. Ooh, Simmons got up to a B. That's nice. How's Old doing? Old's at a B. So we should probably get him up in the bigs. Um, I usually like to get guys up into the bigs when they get to B overalls. Darno is a B. Norris is a C, I think. He's a B. Um, and then our pitchers, especially Appel is a C still. Miller's a B. All right. So we're going to definitely try to trade Josh Reddick as well as Ari Dickey. So I'm going to look for some trade offers. I'll be back. All right. So we are back. And I was thinking when I was going to trade Ari Dickey, um, I was going to go for a B overall, a potential type of pitcher, which I could have gotten with... Brandon Beachy, but the thing is Brandon Beachy's contract is up after this year and he's gonna likely ask for a lot of money Especially with those attributes, so it'd be great to get him But because we're the Oakland A's we don't have that big of a budget We really need to conserve money where we can so I'm going after prospects so I can lock up for the long term on cheap deals And that's gonna be acquiring all three of these guys, and I think we got to throw in George Kataris who I'm fine with throwing in especially because we get Devin Mezzarocco back who's actually a better overall than him and has better hitting stats. We're also getting an A potential pitcher in Trevor May, who's almost MLB ready, and a, a potential shortstop in Billy Hamilton, one of the fastest guys. As you can see, speed right there, one of the fastest guys in baseball. And uh, yeah, okay, so we're going to do this deal. And we gave up Ari Dickey, Tommy Malone, and George Kataris. And uh, I'm going to look for one or two other deals, and I'll be back. Alright, so here's uh, probably the last move I'm going to make. Instead of trading Josh Reddick, weaving those contracts a little bit big, I'm going to trade Coca Crisp's expiring. I'm also throwing in Chris Davis and Derek Barton, who is basically just a backup first baseman. Um, we're getting Will Myers, who's a really nice young prospect, outfield prospect, really good hitting stats. I don't believe we're going to be able to pull anything else out of this one, but I'll just check anyway. Uh, obviously, well, not obviously, but these guys have some pretty good pitching prospects. I don't suppose we're going to be able to snag Danny Holton out of it. And if we gave up Sean Doolittle, but. Doodle's pretty good. And um, I think we'll probably just end up going with the Will Myers stuff. We're giving up a lot of like decent players. Um, but, I mean, Myers' is, uh, ceiling is so high as a prospect in real life and in this game. So, or at least on these rosters. So I'm uh, pretty pretty fine with giving Barton up for him. Could give up Aaron Daryl, Tim Simmons. Which we might do, actually, instead. And uh, get... Danny Holton out of it instead of giving up Derek Barton might be a good idea yeah I think we'll give up uh, Andrew Holton Simmons because now that we got Billy Hamilton we don't need Simmons there so yeah we'll get Holton out of it too and as always just trying to sneak something out of this I don't think we're gonna be able to though uh, yeah so we're gonna do this deal oh I want Seager Seager's not bad okay so yeah we're gonna do this deal and all right so we got Holton and Will Myers and I'll look around for trades, but I think that's probably going to be my last one for the day. Alright, so I'm back. I decided not to make any more moves. So let's take a quick look at what the roster is looking like right now. So you see our lineups. We've put Profar at the top. We've put Choice in there to take Coco Crisp's, Crisp's spot. And we also have Old DHing now. Um, on the bench, we have Derek Norris and Dino, who I'm going to either trade or send down or just wave or something in a sec. Because I'd rather have Hamilton up right now. Um, and then Gary Brown, Devin Mezzarocco, and Billy Hamilton. And the lineup looks pretty similar throughout. Uh, I didn't change much for righty-lefty. For our pitching rotation, this isn't in order of skill or anything. This is just filling in. Uh, we have Appel, Harvey, and Wheeler. Uh, likely one of these guys will go back down when Brett Anderson comes back. And then we still have Parker and Shelby Miller from earlier this year. And the bullpen looks pretty similar. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to look for trade options for Robert and Dino. I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. I actually found a good offer for Andino. I'm surprised. I'm going to get Didi Gregorius, who was traded in the offseason to the Arizona Diamondbacks in real life. He's a B potential second baseman in this game, so I figure why not. I'm just stealing prospects from the um, the Reds. <laughs> Should we get Barbone, too? Barbone could be. No, I don't really need him. Alright, we'll uh, just stick with Didi Gregorius, and that's pretty much going to wrap that up. So let's make sure Gregorius 
he has a triple A. Okay. So that's good. Let's simulate the rest of the of July or whatever. I'm sure we're gonna have forty eight guys in our forty man or something. I'm surprisingly not. And uh, Leonis Martin's back from injury, that's good. Alright, just waiting to see if we get any trade offers whatsoever. I doubt we're going to. Brent Anderson's back. That is good. So we will send down probably Zach Wheeler. It looks like he had a bad game. Even though, yeah, I see overall. Okay. So we'll put... Where's Anderson? Oh, I didn't see him. I must have missed him. Oh, no, he's right there. Uh, who... Oh, Appel. Oh, Appel had an even worse game. Appel's rated higher than Wheeler, though. That's the thing. But I think we'll send Appel back down. Apple. I call him Appel, but I, I think it might be like Apple or something. I'm not really too sure. Uh, the rest of this looks good. We need to send down Tehran. I don't know why he was up. Alright. Um, and then simulate. Past the trade deadline. Should be good. Alright, uh, I'll keep simulating. And we'll put in claims on a few of these waivers, guys, and then we'll get out of here. How about that? So let's just look at the pending transactions. Put a claim in on Hanrahan. And alright, Dickie, why not? <laughs> Dick Massette? Sure. Uh, Chew's got an expiring, so why not? Masterson, maybe. Um... Alright, the rest of these guys, I don't really want them. I'm just going to look and see if we can find any any chance of, of a prospect. I, yeah, doesn't look like it. None of these guys are recognized. Willie Harris. <laughs> Put a claim on him, because Willie Harris is the man. And that's going to wrap up this episode. So the next episode will be end of the season slash off season. I thank guests for watching. Hope you enjoy. This was him out. Peace.